What's going on, guys? Taking a look this morning, XRP, looking at a daily chart, tradingview.com, getting a another pullback here. Um, one, two, three. It looks like the fourth day of a pullback for XRP. It's currently off the highs, which were let's see here. Those highs were right around our one of our levels there at 55, 55, 829 was the high of this most recent move. So basically there, the high to where we currently are, we are 20% off of the top. XRP is sitting in between two levels that we have listed on our chart. One is 43410, four, shown in green right there. And then above the market, is 46030 back up in there. So let me go to a smaller time frame. So as let me zoom out here. This is a three minute time frame. XRP, we were writing on the community section of the Facebook page or the um, Facebook of the YouTube page that um is 46 going to be support? So as we got this sharp move down here, we sprung back up right to our 46 level. So that's 46030. And then we kind of whipsawed around and then ultimately turned into resistance right here perfectly. Traded below it, pulled up, found resistance, and then headed lower. So as we head lower here, we didn't get down to our 43410, which is right here, our 43 level. So we actually could continue lower here and then perhaps find support at 43 or even down there at 42900, 42900. So that's kind of all that's happening here. And all of that correlates with all of this previous trading over here so for the price to trade back down to four three four one zero and find support or even lower it's what it did over here you could see xrp rocketed right off of our four three four one zero level that was a huge move so basically from that level to where it found its top so far for this move at 50 cents was a 17% move very, very fast. So that's what I'm watching. It doesn't mean we're going to pull back down to 43. We actually could move higher from here, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we trade lower, tag one of these levels down here before the move continues. So that's kind of all that I'm paying attention to for XRP. Um, obviously, if you're not trading XRP. This is just entertainment and um, you're just holding it for much higher prices. Nothing wrong with that. You can see in this previous pullback, we found support at our 42,900 and 43,410 right here on the 28th of September. Nice big candle wick trading down below it. And then once again on the 29th of September traded way down and then closed way up. But that candle found resistance at one of our upper levels, which is the 5842 right here, 5842. So far it's a higher low, which is nice. So waiting for that next move to be some kind of a higher high, either breaking this high here on the 29th or breaking the high on the 23rd getting us up past those 50, 55 cent levels. And it's only a matter of time until we get up to our 68,480, our 68 cent area. And then we have another, uh, another area above the market at 82. And then we have even more up there at 96 and so on. Prices going much, much higher. But as the market pulls back, we also have areas below the market. So we have an area down here at 40, 38, 760, 37, 620. 
So wherever the market stops, it usually will stop on one of the areas that we show here on the chart and then reverse in the opposite direction, just like it did right here at 55. And then once again, there at our 58.42 and then to the downside, just like it stopped and reversed at our 42 and our 43410 level. Patience is the game. Stock market is looking like it wants to be in the green today as sentiment builds, fear builds, and um, the um, market gets to be slightly oversold, to say the least. All right, guys. Let's see. I think it's going to be a bright season here. Moving forward in the months ahead for XRP, we've already seen a massive move off that 31, 32, and then found support down here at 34, one of our levels, and then found a lot of support right down there at 35.59, right in here. Look at all those candle wicks trading below our level, and then as levels work to the downside, support and then you know bounced around bounced around for a while moved higher all right it's monday let's see what happens here with the markets and um we'll be back with some more videos take care